A former Buffalo church is getting a new life. Work is underway to create a collaborative arts campus at the old Richmond Avenue Methodist Episcopal Church. It's giving artists, dancers, musicians, and performers a place to come together. News 4's Katie Alexander is there now live to tell us how it's giving all of them that new life. Katie? Well, Christy, well, this is a pretty busy intersection here at Richmond and Ferry, and a lot of us have driven right past this old church here, but few of us have actually seen it from the inside because for the last few decades, it's been basically empty. This church has been around for a long time. It's you know way over 100 years old. Um, it's been kind of a, a, a staple of this community. And the staples of its historical charm are clearly visible everywhere you look. From the beautiful stained glass to the historic pipe organ and the handcrafted woodwork. All of it being lovingly preserved as the owner and developers bring new life into this building. We are looking to uh, create a one of a kind multi purpose art center and campus. So inside you will find a space that's really dedicated to movement and dance arts, and as well as accommodating the collaborative environment for um, incubating arts businesses. Construction crews are at work now creating that business incubator on the second floor of what used to be the church's chapel. What used to be the main sanctuary is being transformed into a huge performing art space. And that will be enhanced by the new art gallery and apartments going into two vacant buildings next door. Preservation in Buffalo is a huge thing. So we have lots of people that will appreciate the fact that we tried to keep as much of the historic nature as possible. The elements of the building um, and the historic construction has stood the test of time. We've been stabilizing, we've uh, done roof work, we've done basement stabilization foundation work. Now the developer are able to forge ahead with the big renovation projects throughout the site that's listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. If all goes well, this place will be open for the community okay. to enjoy sometime next year. Buffalo just keeps getting better and the culture keeps growing, so I feel thrilled to be a part of that. Now, when this place opens, it will also be a space for private and corporate events like weddings and conferences, but the developers say the priority will be to make this a space for art. Reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4.